place. In the NCMC, all relevant ministries are represented, defense, home ministry, health ministry, power ministry, telecom, obviously NDMA is also represented. And these meeting of the NCMC are also participated by the government of the concerned state government. So the chief secretary and other officers of that state government also participate through video conferencing. So we take stock, the cabinet secretary takes stock of the situation and whatever are the requirements of the state government, they, those requirements are met. So we extend whatever help is required. To reach out to the last mile, the people living at the coast are duly informed through regular cyclone warnings in media and through SMSs issued by Cyclone Warning Division at Delhi and Cyclone Warning Centers located at Kolkata, Chennai, Mumbai, Bhuvaneshwar, Vishakhapatnam and Ahmedabad. And a government official, often a tehsildar, is assigned to physically inform coastal population about the cyclone. Whenever we receive information from, let us say, from SRC office, so we we start uh, monitoring on at our level also. We immediately conduct a district disaster management authority meeting. Then we call all the line line department people, where we need to put the ODRF, uh, the disaster response force, also NDRF, and if necessary, the uh, army and navy people also. They also come to help us in that way. Considering the case of Phylon, the numerical weather prediction model on 3rd October sensed that a circulation from South China Sea moving towards the Andaman Sea would become a depression on 8th October. IMD then geared up all its resources in monitoring the system. On 8th itself, the Med Department predicted that system will intensify into a very severe cyclonic storm and will make a landfall at Gopalpur on 12th evening. Regular bulletins were issued to central and state governments of Andhra and Odisha. The central and state authorities immediately started preparing for evacuation of the people living at coastal areas. They had received a lead time of five days, which was ample time for them to send out alerts to people to evacuate. The Relief Commissioner's Office made arrangements to shift people into nearby cyclone shelters and schools. While the Andhra and Odisha state government deployed the State Disaster Response Forces and the National Disaster Response Force was deployed by the central government, which ultimately resulted in what was to be the largest evacuation in India's history. So the minute the cyclone blew over, uh, we were pressed into service uh, for uh, opening the roads firstly, opening the harbour itself, checking whether the harbour was safe for ships to enter or leave, uh, providing uh, succour to the people outside. Immediately food packets were airdropped, medical aid was given. Uh, the uh, uh, local administration uh, was contacted. Uh, we set up a joint uh, operation centre uh, with the local administration and then from them we started to get inputs as to where the critical requirements are for search and rescue. Post the disaster of 1999, India's early warning system has come a long way with extraordinary technological advancements and a much improved and well-connected infrastructure. The most accurate predictions and saving of thousands of lives during recent cyclones, Phylon and Hudhud stand testimony to India's constant efforts to create a robust early warning system. However, this is not an end to the journey of success. There are still challenges in cyclone predictions over this region. The most important challenge uh, in the international arena is the intensity forecast. Most of the numerical models fail to predict the rapid intensification and rapid weakening, especially if the rapid intensification is occurring nearby to the coast it becomes more disastrous. The performance of the numerical models in prediction of heavy rainfall is also not uh, so good. And as you know, the heavy rainfall causes the floods leading to loss of life and property. So therefore, the second most challenging aspect is the improvement of heavy rainfall. So far, we don't have any observations from the cyclones. We are having all peripheral observations. So therefore, you need to send uh, airborne sensors into the cyclone and take sorties and, and take observations, then you need to have uh, further improved the models. And in order to the uh, 
further improving the model, you are required to have a better assimilation of these finest observations into the model, which is again very stupendous task. So, these are in, in uh, uh, future sites of our operational forecasters. Natural hazards like cyclones cannot be avoided, but India's meteorological department's early warning system and the country's overall disaster preparedness ensures that their impact can be controlled and precious lives are not lost. Going further, India Meteorological Department looks towards further enhancement of their expertise to make accurate and timely forecasts. <laughs>